during Hurricane Andrew that hit Florida in 92, um, a small aquarium facility on the coastline um, got damaged and several breeding pairs were actually released in Biscayne Bay. Um, since then, they have traveled up the southeast coast of the US and down to Bahamas, to Cuba, and traveling through the, the currents down to Jamaica. Over the past two years, a year and a half to two years, that's when we first starting to see these types of fish in our know, here. Like in the shallow, we catch like three, three in our pot, but in the deep, we catch like 20 in one pot for them, them spread all around. The Jamaican fisheries industry right now is heavily impacted by overfishing. Now the lionfish is coming in and it's now targeting juvenile fish. So now you have attacks from, from all cohorts, all sizes, all age ranges for the fish population. We are having a, a, a lionfish introduction people uh, because a lot of people still don't realize they can be eaten. The fish is here right and you know we are going to have to find a way to deal with it and if this is one of the ways that we can manage the population of the fish in the waterways then by all means. The only thing we can do is what we catch, we kill what we can and we eat what we can. I would encourage um, cookout, I would encourage certain things that I mean, we can um, have careful preparation to remove the toxin so that the public health risk is not as significant uh, or non-existent actually, which is what we want to achieve. I would stress this point, I would not encourage commercial um, aspects of treating an invasive species such as lionfish to combat it.